Welcome back troglodytes to Would You Rock or Not. Today we're looking at a Les Paul that I just thought looked really cool in these photos. It had the right type of top, the right kind of background, the right type of photographer. Things just worked out great for this guitar's listing. So this is a limited edition Les Paul from 2017 called the Premium Quilt in Translucent Ebony Burst Finish. I guess they made 150 of these. You can tell what number you have on the back toggle switch plate. If we zoom in here you can see this one is 22 of 150. Now this guitar features all chrome hardware with burst bucker pickups with a nice set of locking grover tuners and a rosewood fretboard. So for the most part it's just kind of your standard Les Ball standard but it has a very nice top on it. Now Gibson advertised these as a triple A quilt top and then the backs were graded double A. Now I don't grade wood for a living, however I think the back actually looks better than the front. So what's unique about this model is all the usual plastic stuff is made out of like a chrome hardware type of material. You can see the knobs are kind of like those high performance knobs. And the poker chip is not there and you have a chrome switch tip as well as chrome pickup rings. It really gives this guitar a very modern look to it. There's nothing too fancy on the headstock of this one, just your normal Gibson logo. But I really do appreciate a quilted back. Now it's not every day you see a Les Paul have flame or quilt on the back if it's a Les Paul standard. Now I'm here to tell you they do exist. Here is a gorgeous 2004 Les Paul standard I had, and that is real flame in that mahogany back. Sometimes you'll see these pinstripes going down the body and they won't move, but this one was a flamey beast. And it had quite the top on it. This is definitely a Les Paul standard that I will never forget owning. I liked it so much I put it in a lift and reissue case, and I really wanted to put one of those ABR1 conversion kits on it. And then here's an example of a late 90s standard I had that had a quilted back on it. However, this guitar and this guitar were not meant to have quilted or flamed backs. They were just magical pieces that made it out of the factory because whatever wood they had come in just happened to have that figuring. This guitar was meant to have the quilting on it. Now I kind of wish they would have done the same translucent ebony finish on the neck as well. Even though you don't see the neck in the back of the guitar, I really like it when there's a very striking neck on the back. Here's a 2550 I used to have, and it was just, this is probably the nicest neck I found on a 2550. Now as far as a one piece neck, I think the Steve Howe the Les Paul has to be my favorite, simply because it's a wine red finish, you don't see those very often on the V Les Pauls, and I think it just looks spectacular with flame. So being a limited edition Les Paul, I kind of wish that they would have done that on this one as well. However, it doesn't look like they did. So I think many people would agree that this is a very pretty guitar, but how does it sound? I'll play a few snippets here for you of Musician's Friends demo of this guitar. Please check out their full video and comment Trogly sent you. The only question left, would you rock this Les Paul with a quilt top and back or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below, and regardless of how you feel about this instrument, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.